So the Canon R6, is it still worth it in 2022? Well, that depends on what you're using it for. I've been shooting with this camera for the last year or so, and my uses for the camera have not really changed too much from when I first bought it till now. My personal reasons for buying the camera, number one primarily is vlogging, and my secondary uses are wedding videos and real estate videos. Occasionally I get into photography as well, but keep in mind my opinion is mostly video centric. Right now in 2022, the Canon R6 is my primary go-to camera. Before it was my 5D Mark IV, but I recently hopped off of the DSLR bandwagon and hopped onto the mirrorless train. And let me tell you, it was a good switch for me to make. One of the biggest reasons why I think the Canon R6 is still an amazing investment for 2022 is the firmware update with C-Log3 available. Color profiles on this log are just amazing and they look so good. They make me look like a way better videographer than I actually am and that's what I want. Also, the video specs for nowadays aren't too outdated. You still get that 4K at 60 frames a second, 120 frames if you lower it down to 1080. And honestly, for most cases, those specs are enough. Yeah, I know, it doesn't shoot a lot of raw video like a lot of mirrorless cameras do nowadays, but if you're using a four-year-old gaming computer for editing like me, you really don't want to even deal with raw video right now. And in terms of Canon's lineup, the R6 has the best quality for non-raw video in my opinion. The price hasn't gone down too much for a new R6 since the year it came out. Right now it's sitting just above $3,000 Canadian. I still think this is 100% worth it. Obviously with inflation, the purchasing power of money isn't as strong as it used to be a few years ago, which might explain no price drops, but we'll save that finance talk for another video. Now for my vlogging purposes, this camera is honestly perfect for me. Like I mentioned before, it's got C-Log3. It has the flip out LCD screen so I can see myself in times like this. Not to mention the recording capabilities are honestly perfect when it comes to vlogging setups. The camera is also very lightweight being mirrorless, which is awesome. I've been at the gym trying to strengthen my shoulders a little bit, but they're still a little weak, so the mirrorless camera is nice. On the photography aspect of things, it's always been really good to me. I get crisp, clean images with the R6, and I'm not incredibly into photography, but it does the job well. The R6 does seem like a very well-rounded camera. I've been tempted to go with the R5C because I shoot mostly video, but again, with the raw video and my computer capabilities, it's just, it's not really worth the upgrade. So in conclusion, if you are looking for a vlogging setup with the occasional need for photography, the R6 is the one for you. Be sure to get the firmware upgraded so you get that C-Log3. It was one of the best upgrades I think that came to this camera. Well, there you have it. You got my opinion on the camera. You got the C to B roll that I've shot with it. What are your thoughts? Do you think it looked good? Do you disagree with me on anything? Be sure to comment below. Also subscribe and like this video if you wanna see more content like this. I've been mostly diving into real estate vlogs as of lately, but I still wanna keep the camera nerd content and lifestyle videos intact. So there you guys have it. I'll see you next time.